Coming to you live from the k Studios on South Durango, Pong Talk Live. Hosted by the voice of the Las Vegas Wranglers, Dave Carney, and the owner of the world-famous Max Pond in Las Vegas, Michael Mack. Call in at 257-5396. That's 257-5396. And find out what your valuables are worth from the top expert in the pawn industry. Now, Michael Mack and Dave Carney. And welcome to Pawn Talk Live here on News Talk 720 KDWN. Dave Carney and Michael Max sticking around here with you on a Friday afternoon. And thanks so much for being with us here on a Friday afternoon. Opening up the phone lines, Michael, for the entire hour during Live Las Vegas. Great, great program. Uh, tons of awesome guests. Nate Burkus joined us from uh, NBC's new show, American Dream Builders, airing this Sunday night, 8 o'clock. Also heard from Ashton Allen, music coordinator of the Downtown Project, and Albie Sure joined us from Hawaii in our entertainment report. Uh, but we are opening up the phone lines for Las Vegas, Michael, for the entire hour, 257-5396. That's 257-5396. Now, Michael... I think you're going to go ahead and get a little crazy again. Give away, give away the farm. Everybody that calls us today on Pawn Talk Live is going to be a winner. Tell us about that. Well, you know, Dave, we have the treasure chest down at Max Pond, and we love giving away presents. So uh, coordinated with Beasley Broadcast, some of the great gifts they give us, videos, DVDs. We have uh, power balance bracelets. Uh, we have movies. So any caller calls in, you're going to be a winner. And let's have for the best caller today, a dozen donuts from Winchell's Donuts. Ooh, I, I like that. I like that. Now, the best call of the day, we're going to determine this, I guess, like we used to, right? We'll, we'll you we know, a, you, we me, we'll, we'll have a little panel. We'll have a little panel here. We'll get uh, yourself, myself, Angie, our board up, and our special in studio guest today, Cheryl Bernard. She can uh, actually join us in and weigh in her thoughts as well. But again, guys, the phone number to reach us in studio, 257 53 96 257 KDWN. And remember, no pawn question is too big, no pawn question is too small. If you're just curious what that old barrel in your backyard is worth you know call up tell michael you know this is what i got he might tell you it's worth five bucks but if you want to know you can find out right here on pawn talk live and and michael i'd like to start off this show and just re-educate some folks that may be just joining us for the first time ever tell us a little bit about pawn and this little thing we call pawn 101 well you know a lot of people don't know the difference between pawn and selling something when you pawn something you have some collateral like a ring a bracelet a pair of Beat headphones like you have on your head, or, uh, you know, maybe it's uh, some special uh, item that, you know, you have never known the value of. We can give you a loan on that item. You don't necessarily have to sell it, and then you have 90 days to pick it up. At the end of the 90 days, we text our customers or call you, let you know that your item has expired because that's the last thing we want to happen, and then you can come and pick up your item. You pay interest to the store, so you use us as a bank, and that's the collateral. Now, for those that need extra cash, because if you have Eastern Kentucky over Kansas, that Kansas is a favorite right now, you're down 23 to 14, and you need some extra cash. Wait come a second. Us. Kansas is down 23 to 14 to Eastern Kentucky. Oh, my gosh. Late breaking news. Our brackets are <laughs> gone, my friend. They are gone. March Madness is just mashed right through every bracket. We, we talked earlier uh, on Live in Las Vegas that, you know, Big percentage of the brackets were busted yesterday with yeah. uh, the you know with the, uh, the, Oklahoma, the uh, Ohio State game, then Oklahoma, and then we have Duke today, and uh, Eastern Kansas is uh, is winning twenty three fourteen. But you know what a great time of the year this is like the ultimate di weekend in in Las Vegas. Yes, it is, and I know guys come from all over the country, all over the world to be here because this is just manism time. Oh, it, you know it's it's really it, it's so much bigger in some ways than even Super Bowl weekend because you've got all these different colleges from all over the country participating in a round robin of 64. And, Michael, here's the only real place in the country you can legally bet on all this action. And the only downside to that is that you tend to lose money when, when you gamble. The good part about that is, like you mentioned, with the world-famous Max Pawn and, heck, most of the pawn shops here in town. But if you want to make sure you get a smoking hot deal, take your stuff, your iPad. You know, you've got this thing. You can get a couple hundred bucks, maybe a hundred bucks for the weekend. Get yourself back in even. Get yourself back to the books. You got to, you know, keep keep adding to our local economy here. Well, I hope you're not giving good uh, opinions like that out there. That people should be taking their iPads and pawning them to to <laughs> go bet on Kansas. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I, you know, listen. You've got to hedge your bets. You've got a middle sum, and you've got to find out. You know, where can you? Where can you do some damage control? I think you should. Uh, you should pawn your uh, I, uh, iPad and take your girlfriend out. I yes. think that's a sound investment. Can you take her to the LVH <laughs> to watch some March because Madness basketball? Because there, there's a guaranteed payback there. 
You know what, though, Michael? When we look at the long term, the March Madness only happens once a year. Everything right. else, you can have more than once a year. So I guess it is up to you. You know, different, so, different. So strokes. you think? So you think? That's true. Maybe, uh, maybe after hearing this radio show, not so much. Uh, but March Madness, being what it is, uh, it really does a lot for the city. And again, guys, uh, if you're out there, and I and I do mean guys, ladies too. I, I don't want to exclude the ladies. If you're out there and you're doing some betting, and maybe you've got some parlay cards coming up this weekend, we've got Major League Baseball spring training action. Uh, the NHL is still going on, NBA action. So lots of great betting action. And you do need some money. Yes, Michael, I am advocating. You know, taking something that can be picked up again, you know, next week for a very small uh, percentage and going out there and hedging your bets. And I believe that that's what's best uh, for the economy as well. Now, with that being said, we're going to have Dan on the line with us now. Dan has got a painting, it looks like, uh, that he would like to get your opinion about. Dan, thanks so much for joining the program. How are you? Great. Beautiful day outside. Oh, it's gorgeous, buddy. Gorgeous. Thanks for calling us. You got Michael on the line here. Dan, tell us about your painting. It's a Peter Max. Uh, it's a stereograph. It's I purchased it. It's a commemoration to, 2000, to 9-11. It was done in 2001. And uh, I just recently had it appraised from the original gallery that I bought it from. And it's, they appraised it at 14500 But, I mean, I know that's insurance appraisal. But uh, just trying to figure out if I wanted to dispose of it in a, as much as I could, what would, what would something like that be going for or uh, what um, I realize that art may or may not be something people are purchasing nowadays. But. Well, you know, Dan, Peter Max happens to be, you know, the artist that just is never going to go away, his uh, iconic works. And uh, the the 9-11 piece in particular, I think we may have had a similar piece. Can you explain what the piece looks like? Um, it's called um, With Liberty and Justice. It has, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think it's 12 different, 12 heads of the Statue of Liberty, and they're all done in different colors. Um, and it's just hand painted, hand signed. And it, and it has like a floral, floral arrangement look to it. Floral? No, it's uh, well, it's like it must it, be a different not, piece than I had a 9/11 commemorative piece that almost it had that depicted the same things, but it looked like it had a flower arrangement almost in the center of it. But what a great! No, no, no. It's like twelve heads. It's like uh, three, 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 and three. They're all the same, but then he fills them in with different colors. Uh, so he prints it first, and then he paints everything over it. Right. And uh, it's very similar to something like an Andy Warhol, but uh, because Andy Warhol influenced Peter Max. And how big is the piece? Um, it's eighteen by twenty-four. Right. So that's an yeah, it's a very nice piece, and it's framed. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. That's the type of item at Max Pond that we love to have on consignment. We do very well on consignment, and we have customers from all over the world. We put it on our website. We put it on eBay. And uh, we have quite a following that come right down to our store on the corner of Sahara and Jones. So love to take a look at it. Um, of course, you get a free prize for calling in today and love to meet in person. Yeah. And, Dan, when, when you look at something li like this, Peter Max here, and you got it appraised, you said, from the original gallery around 14000 and And you realize that includes, you know, some insurance value. Uh, what is, you know, kind of the target number you're looking for if this thing were to move? Well, I didn't buy it for fourteen five, so, I mean, I bought it for like six. Okay, gotcha. So, I mean, but making money would be good. And, and you know, listen, I've been doing this uh, radio show with Michael uh, for about two and a half, three years here, and they have gotten some consignment products uh, into the store that, I mean, one gal had a saxophone she was offered 60 bucks for. They ended up selling it for $1,500 because it was, uh, you know, professional studio model. So the power of their consignment program is, is really, for things like this, the way to go. And if you're looking for more than six, uh, Michael, I don't know, I hate to talk out of turn, but it sounds like this guy's got himself, uh, you know, quite a little nest egg there. That's good stuff. All right, Dan. Well, I, I thank you so much for your call today. And again, if you want to join us here on our Max Prize hotline, all you have to do, pick up the phone and give us a buzz, 257-5396. Dan, don't forget to stop by the world-famous Max Pond. Pick up your prize. Show them that Peter Max painting. Great stuff. Michael, we're going to step aside and take our first look at traffic here on Pond Talk Live. When we come back, Cheryl Bernard, special in-studio guest. Stay with us here on Kadon 720. It's 2.15 in the Kate on One Nevada Credit Union Traffic Center. Looking good on area freeways right now. Do have a couple of accidents. Las Vegas Boulevard at the 2.15. Martin Luther King in Charleston. 
two hit and runs, Arville at Twain, Harmon at Las Vegas Boulevard, and Buffalo at Lake Mead, an injury incident. For the kid on Wind Nevada Credit Union Traffic Center, I'm Jim Dallas on News Talk 720 KDWN. If you're a conservative American over 50, then please listen to this important message. Hi, friends. Fran Tarkenton here. Let me tell you about an organization fighting to protect our country from the destructive liberal policies threatening our great nation. AMAC the Association of Mature American Citizens, with over one million members and growing, serves as a strong conservative alternative to the left-leaning AARP. Over the years, I'd become increasingly distrustful of the AARP and its liberal agenda, but their support for Obamacare was the last straw. As a football player, I understood that in order to win, you have to keep fighting. Well, AMAC not only shares my conservative beliefs, but they also share that same willingness to fight to protect those beliefs for generations to come. You deserve better than AARP. AMAC is better. Better for you. Better for America. Join AMAC today to receive exclusive benefits and discounts. Call 888-950-AMAC or go to teamamac.us to become a member. Call 888-950-AMAC or go to teamamac.us. Enjoy an entertaining afternoon with Norm Clark, Las Vegas Review Journal's celebrity columnist, as the Smith Center presents Conversations with Norm. Lighthearted interviews of some of Las Vegas's most popular and recognized celebrities, as well as some of Las Vegas's movers and shakers. All the proceeds benefit the Smith Center Education Fund. Tickets are just $25 and $35. See the first show of Conversations with Norm on Sunday, March 30th at 2 p.m. as he interviews the popular Mirage headliner, Terry Fader. Wait a second. If you want America's Got Talent, that means you're a millionaire. Why didn't you just retire? I made some bad choices. Like what? I lost half of that gambling out there in the casino. It's the Smith Center's Conversations with Norm, featuring Norm Clark, celebrity columnist for the Las Vegas Review Journal. For tickets, go online to thesmithcenter.com. Now back to Pawn Talk Live with your hosts, Michael Mack and Dave Carney. And welcome back to Pawn Talk Live here on News Talk 720 KDWN. I'm Dave Carney, joined by the owner of the world-famous Max Pawn and my co-host for 3,752 days of radio per year, Michael Mack. Michael, great to see you as always. And we're, we're talking March Madness, Bracket Buster stuff. And you just can't get enough of this. Uh, it's super fun. Great day outside. And again, if you need some cash, and I guess I can't say that I'm totally advocating you selling off your kids' PS3s or uh, Xbox 360s, but get down there and get a loan on them. I'll and then you. you can go and bet some more. I'll tell you what March Madness special I'll throw at you, Dave. <laughs> What's that? Anyone that mentions that you heard Dave Carney yes. on Pawn Talk Live, Go down to Max Pond. We'll give you a 30-day interest-free loan, and tell them Dave sent you. I like it. You and know, da- and Dave will pay for it. That's you know. Listen, my degenerate gambler friends out there, they're going to do me well because you know what they're going to do, Michael. They're going to come back and they're going to get all this stuff, and then they're going to buy all sorts of extra stuff this because be the they won. Biggest- Dave promotion. That's ever. right. It's 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 at Dapper Dave C on Twitter. Go ahead and follow me in. And by the way, Michael, since we have a very special guest in here with us, Cheryl Bernard, who we're going to talk to in just a second, want to invite all of our listeners to go to our websites, pawntalklive.com and live in Las Vegas radio.com. So get your full schedule of guests here for Live in Las Vegas and Pawn Talk Live, archived shows, pictures of me, you, Al, and all of our guests, and great, great content 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So you don't need to feel that that longing that comes, you know, between Fridays that you're missing us. You can go to pontalklive.com 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even here last week's show. Now, Michael, what I'd like to do now, though, is crack open this collector's corner. <laughs> Ever wondered what your treasures are worth? Find out now on The Collector's Corner. And The Collector's Corner is brought to you by Max Pawn and the new Max Prize Hotline. And what we'd like to do is invite all of our listeners out there to give us a buzz at 257-5396. That's 257-KDWN. And ask us any question about an item maybe that Grandma, Grandpa had given to you when you were a little kid. Maybe it's an heirloom the family's had around a long time. Maybe it's something you found up in your attic or in the garage. Or maybe, like Nate Burkus said, it's something you found while you were garage sailing, antiquing, or going to some of the awesome thrift stores here in Las Vegas. Michael Mack, fourth-generation pawnbroker, can answer all of your questions. And, Michael, I want to talk in this Collector's Corner edition here about the Great Estate Buyers Roadshow. We, we started to talk about it last week and the week before, but it's coming up very soon now, March 30th through April 1st. That's Sunday through Tuesday. Huge stuff. Let's talk. Well, I'll tell you, Dave, this is the first, 
and Max Pond happens to be one of the experts down at the Great Estate Buyers uh, Roadshow. It'll be next Sunday through next Tuesday, uh, 10 to 5 p.m. at the Palace Station. Now, you can't get a better location, more centrally located than the Palace Station. So for anyone that has any questions, you can call 702-274-6225, 702-274-6225. And you can uh, ask any type of question. You have a collectible. We'll be have experts in coins, jewelry, watches, uh, diamonds, artwork, uh, objects of art. And, of course, designer handbags. Yeah, I was going to say, of course, the designer handbags. And the Great Estate Buyers Roadshow Las Vegas is going to be a huge opportunity if you need to make money for tax time. If you're somebody that needs to unload some items, there's going to be over $5 million in cash on hand over those three days to buy your stuff. And, Michael, that's really what makes these events so unique is that it's not some place where you're going to have to go and somebody's going to look at it and say, hey, this is really great. And maybe if you put it on auction, we'd give you 1500 bucks." No, there's $5 million right there to buy stuff in the moment. You know, Dave, it's really interesting. One of the items we'll be purchasing at the show, and I'm not an expert, but what we will have experts, is paper currency. Oh, really? A $5,000 bill is worth up to $50,000, and a $10,000 bill, if you have one, is worth up to $100,000. So if you have a $10,000 bill sitting around, and believe it or not, there's more $10,000 bills in Nevada than anywhere in the United States and anywhere in the world because Binion's had them. That's and right. Some of the old casinos had them, and there's maybe a few circulating around. So that's the items that we really want to see, and those are the items we'd like to pay that top dollar out for. Yeah, a- absolutely. And again, we're talking about the Great Estate Buyers Roadshow here on Pawn Talk Live. That's coming up March 30th through April 1st. That's uh, Sunday through Tuesday. And and Michael, we were joking when we were putting together the promotion for this and and talking about this, uh, you know, with some of the newspaper folks and on television, uh, that this was no April Fools. That this is actually something uh, that is going to be here, like you said, for the first time, and hopefully for many years after to really benefit the folks in Las Vegas at a time when they need it the most. So we realize April 15th is coming up right around the corner. There's a lot of folks like myself, independent business people, who don't get to rely on having a W-2 job and taxes taken out. So we have to settle up with the government at the proper time. And this is one of those times where I wish I had a little heirloom, a you know, family item of value that I could go and sell. But for the folks here in Vegas, and we know that there are plenty of them that have great items and need a little bit of cash what a better opportunity than this. Well, as you know, Dave, a lot of people, there's a lot of garage sto- uh, you know, garage sale shoppers and hunters and uh, the auction and the storage place uh, hunters that come to Max Pond on a day-to-day to evaluate their items that they find uh, in these storage units or at garage sales. So for those of you that, you know, it hasn't been easy to get to Max Pond because we're open every day, but you can go on these three days, and it's a convenient location and uh, in the Grand Ballroom at Palace Station, and our friends at Stations Casino are just helping us greatly with this super event, and we're looking forward to it. I'm excited to report back. Uh, we'll talk about it next Friday, but a week from Friday, I'm sure we'll have a great report. Oh, yeah. No, it, it's going to be uh, it's gonna be big news, and it's going to be a big weekend for you next week, and I don't know how you're going to be able to manage all of these things, but we'll, we'll do our best to hold down the fort for you. And, yes, you're right, the, the Station Casino's, one of Las Vegas's best businesses, the Fertitta Brothers, uh, have really done such a fantastic job. And Palace Station, Michael, it goes back a long way, and it brings back some awesome memories. So Grand Ballroom, uh, great stuff there on the Collector's Corner here. Uh, now, transitioning over, uh, we've got a special in-studio guest, Cheryl Bernard. Uh, Michael, I'm going to let you introduce Cheryl to our listeners here and let her know what it is she does for the world-famous Max Pawn. Well, you know, I'm so excited to have Cheryl with us today. Uh, Cheryl... Uh has been a friend and uh, a colleague of mine for, I think we're going on five years now, and uh, she's a webmaster, uh, also a social media guru, and welcome to our show. Thank you. Thank you, Michael, for inviting me. Well, you know, Cheryl, it's uh, it's it's a pleasure for you to have you here, and of course you got to see Max Pond uh, when we had our first inception. Tell the listeners That's true. That's how, true. how you've seen us kind of evolve. Oh, it's unbelievable. The growth, I met Michael, um, when he had the vision, actually, and he had the location, it was uh, very, very busy there. We he talked about he wanted a website, what he wanted, what his vision was, and then it just it happened. It really happened beyond what I could even conceive of. And and when you say it, it happened beyond what you could conceive of, when you first met Michael and he's giving you this vision, what was your conception of that? 
Well, initially he had uh, specific ideas. Some of them were uh, that he would specialize in certain areas, that he would ma have opportunities outside of what the traditional pawn shop would be. And um, I could hear that he was in his voice and with his experience that it would happen, and I was excited to be part of it. That's fantastic. And Cheryl and I met through a mutual friend who's also a guest on uh, Pond Talk Live. That's Jordan Tabak Bank from Beverly Loan Company. That's right, yes. And uh, Jordan just opened up a new store in, in New York City as well. And so Cheryl had been uh, his webmaster, and I was impressed with his very classy web, uh, web design and uh, website that he had. But uh, when we spoke, I said, you know, we want something different. We want something very user-friendly. And, of course, now that we've morphed to where we are today, uh, Cheryl not only does MaxPondLV.com, uh, she also does uh, Pond Talk Live and, and Live, Live in Las, Las Vegas, Vegas Radio. Radio. Yeah. Com. And, you know, they're, they're wonderful websites. And I'll tell you what, when you, when you find a webmaster, Dave, and we spoke about this off air, when you find a webmaster that – you can talk to, and she'll just take that vision and create it. We don't see seven different versions. Um, you know, there might be some tweaking here and there, but Cheryl, I mean, you could probably, uh, you know, speak more to that. Um, yes, that's true. Um, I think the one thing that was uh, understood was that there's professionalism between us. And when that's the groundwork, uh, good things happen. They yeah. do. Uh, Michael is not afraid for change. Uh, he always pushes forward, and there's actually been, I think, uh, three uh, renovations of your website, the original one, Max Pond LV, and each one gets better, and they're exciting to be part of. I love it. Yeah, fantastic. Well, I mean, I've been watching the growth of the, of the Max Pond brand, like I said, ever since I joined up with Michael and started doing the program about three years ago, and, and the website being such a crucial part of his business, and and this is why we wanted to have you on today, Cheryl. So many folks that are listeners of News Talk 720 here with us on, on Fridays and throughout the whole week are the business owners that make up Las Vegas' business class. And, and they all understand how important it is to have a clean, effective, and efficient website that works for, for their business. Now, there's a lot of different web companies out here now and a lot of people promising this and that and the other thing what's the core of your business cheryl what do you try to deliver consistently time in and time out to your customers uh i think uh first and foremost would be customer care and customer service i think without that your product your abilities your experience are basically worthless yeah yeah absolutely and dave i you know i think that you know when you look at websites and, and cheryl will sh uh, share her her phone number as far as as well as her website so you can go find out how affordable she is because her her websites are very affordable and her service is, is is second to none because she gets back to you right away or it's done overnight but I think simplicity is really what I've always spoke to Cheryl about is keeping it simple because sometimes when you get too flashy and too much animation you lose your, your customer and and like she just said it's customer service we want to we want to help that customer we want to help that client. We want to make it as user friendly. If they have to think and wait, and there's going to be a little clock that turns, we lost them. And uh, I think that's really the magic of websites today. Yeah, absolutely, it is the magic. And you you brought up a great point, Michael. All these graphics uh, that you don't see so much anymore, Cheryl. When did when did we start going away from the flash websites? When did we start going away from videos popping up every time you went to a website? Uh, that's interesting. I just had that discussion recently. I think with uh, the iPhone, you've got the Samsung Galaxy. A lot of people go to websites on their phone. Uh, they just aren't compatible. Yeah. Uh, they're beautiful if you're at home, but I think, I don't have the statistics, but I think quite a few people just use their phones. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's now become to the, I think we're, we're looking at 20, 20, 8 out of 10 Americans are expected to have some sort of mobile handheld device. iPads, iPhones, Samsung Galaxies, and you're right. Uh, you can't get that rich flash Dreamweaver made uh, website on your on your iPhone. It just doesn't work. Uh, and it is really fascinating, though, to see the evolution of websites, where they went from being very simple to very flashy, and now back to very simple. Uh, we're going to talk a lot about that and much more here on Pawn Talk Live. When we come back, I'm going to step aside, take a look at traffic here, and we'll be back on News Talk 720 KDWN. Need your news fix? 
Get the news you want anytime, day or night at KDWN.com. Local, state, national, and international news, plus sports, entertainment, and weather is always just a mouse click away. KDWN.com, where locals find their news. And Spencer and I'm the founder of Legacy Act. Join us March 22nd in the deserts here in Las Vegas as we create the world's largest anti-bullying sign. For more information, go to LegacyX.com. 50,000 watts of power. News Talk 720. KDWN. Always updated, always online. The latest news, traffic, and weather for Vegas at KDWN.com. KDWN Las Vegas, a Beasley Broadcast Group station. AP Update, I'm Ross Simpson. The U.S. is keeping a watchful eye on Russian troops that are now along the eastern border of Ukraine. The Russians have, have uh, stated that they uh, are intending military exercises, obviously given their past practice and uh, the, d the gap between what they have said and what they have done. We are watching it with skepticism. Despite the presence of Russian troops on their doorstep, National Security Advisor Susan Rice says Ukraine has shown tremendous restraint. This is obviously a, a very uh, worrying and fragile situation, but we have been very much uh, admiring of the, uh, the posture that the Ukrainian people and government have taken. They have exercised enormous restraint in the face of obvious provocation. Senator John McCain says sending arms to Ukraine would cause Russian President Vladimir Putin to think twice about further aggression. AP Update. I'm Ross Simpson. The news brought to you by Farmers Insurance. At Farmers Insurance, they believe the more you know, the better you can plan. Find your local agent at Farmers.com or call 888-96-FARMERS. Brought to you by Farmers Insurance. It's 232 in the kid on the Nevada Credit Union Traffic Center. A couple of slow spots on the freeway. It's 15 north, right around Sahara. You're slow into the Spaghetti Bowl. Also 95 southbound heading into the bowl. Crisis Las Vegas Boulevard at the 215 Martin Luther King south of Charleston. Injuries Buffalo at Lake Mead and Charleston at Pavilion Center. For the kid on Monday Better Credit Union Traffic Center, I'm Jim Dallas on News Talk 720 KDWN. You hear a lot of talk about gold these days. What, with the stock market and more upheaval than tumbleweeds in a tornado? The world-famous Max Pond is your gold spot in Las Vegas. Don't just send your gold into some random TV guy for pennies on the dollars. Go where you can see what your gold is really worth and get guaranteed market rate for your gold, silver, diamonds, and more. Come visit the world-famous Max Pond in Las Vegas at the northeast corner of Sahara and Jones or online at maxpondlv.com. If you're looking to lower your mortgage payments and been turned down elsewhere, you need to listen to Mortgage Makeovers with Ken Michaels this Sunday from 6 to 7 a.m. Mortgage Makeovers with Ken Michaels here on News Talk 720 KDWF. You can beat the Wall Street fat cats at their own game with AvengeSoftware.com. Call us at 702-832-1100 and listen Sundays at 1 p.m. for Avenging the 99% on News Talk 720 KDWN. If you're a conservative American over 50, then please listen to this important message. Hi, friends. Fran Tarkenton here. Let me tell you about an organization fighting to protect our country from the destructive liberal policies threatening our great nation. AMAC, the Association of Mature American Citizens, with over 1 million members and growing, serves as a strong conservative alternative to the left-leaning AARP. Over the years, I'd become increasingly distrustful of the AARP and its liberal agenda, but their support for Obamacare was the last straw. As a football player, I understood that in order to win, you have to keep fighting. Well, AMAC not only shares my conservative beliefs, but they also share that same willingness to fight to protect those beliefs for generations to come. You deserve better than AARP. AMAC is better. Better for you. Better for America. Join AMAC today to receive exclusive benefits and discounts. Call 888-950-AMAC or go to teamamac.us to become a member. Call 888-950-AMAC or go to teamamac.us. Now back to Pawn Talk Live with your hosts Michael Mack and Dave Carney. And welcome back to Pawn Talk Live here on News Talk 720 KDWN and streaming worldwide at KDWN.com and also at PawnTalkLive.com. 
Dave Carter joined by Michael Max. Cheryl Bernard here in studio. Cheryl, of course, is the webmaster for MaxPawnLV.com as well as Pawn Talk Live, live in Las Vegas radio and about 3,247,000 other websites. But that doesn't mean that Cheryl is too busy to take on another project. So, Michael, we know that there is a ton of business owners, folks that uh, have, you know, side businesses, uh, you know, just a bunch of folks listening to us here on KDON, and a lot of them need websites. Cheryl, how can they get a hold of you? Uh, they can go to my website, uh, totallyweb.com. It's T-O-T-A-L-L-Y-W-E-B-B-E-D.com. That's probably the best way to get in contact with me. There's contact forms, and I respond usually within hours. Fantastic. So totallywebbed.com, the place to go to get a super affordable, super clean, and super effective website. Now, Michael, your store does a ton of website business, a ton of website business. Do you think that would be possible if it weren't for Cheryl's design, her integration, and how it's worked so well with what you've been doing? Well, uh, Cheryl, of course, is an integral part of why Max Pond is a success. And uh, we talk about it every day. You know, we have a team. And uh, we we have the we have the uh, statement that we put out to everyone each day, and my associates in the store is if we're not helping someone in line, we're helping someone online, and uh, and if they can help people online when they're not busy, and that's why we have the different functions. We have eBay. We have an eBay team. Uh, we have a, a gun team. It's all Don all by herself that does gu uh, auction arms. Right. And that's one of our functions on the website. And then we have Tradesy, which is another. Uh, fashion site the uh, ebay team takes care of we use rumger we had remember we yes, had the sure guys do. from yep. rumger another downtown uh, project yep. uh, beneficiary That's right there right. we use uh, craigslist which is you know the the world's uh you know marketplace yeah for, it's the new classified ads it's the classified ads Put the newspapers out but of we use class we use craigslist every day and uh we also uh have our website you know which is part of the buy network and that's uh bravo solutions uh uh, and that's all tied into maxpondlv.com. And so Cheryl's placed each item on our website so you can click on and you can go to those respected sites. And it's so simple. But we also, you know, we've tied in our radio shows. We've tied in our social media, our philanthropic projects. You know, so um, I think, it, you know, it's one big team. And Cheryl is, of course, a big piece of it. And, you know, the, the great thing about Cheryl is it's affordable. I don't. I don't call Cheryl. She doesn't give me estimates. She used to give me. Used to give me estimates, yeah. and she used to give me estimates. I don't even ask for them anymore. It's the price is fair every month. And how low are a website starting at now? Uh, it, it depends on what the client wants, but they can be as low as three fifty. Wow. That's so you fantastic. know, Dave, you talk to people and they say a thousand or twelve hundred dollars, and you know, and when she says four hundred, you're gonna get a decent basic website, a few pages, and really what you need in a startup business, and. Uh, I'm sure by the time I'm done with you, Dave, you'll have a new website. Yeah, I was going to say, you're going to try to sell me just about everything. This is also something available at the Great Estate Buyers Roadshow. If you've got a bad website, come down there and sell it. We'll, we'll buy it from you and give you give you a new one. And and again, what we'd like to do here is open up the Max Prize hotline here uh, in Arcade on Studios, 257-5396, 257 -5396. KDWN is the number to get online here. Michael Mack, Dave Carney, and Cheryl Bernard joining you now. Today, Michael, we're going to give everybody that calls us here on Pond Talk Live, and Dan got a prize earlier uh, with his Peter Max call, but everybody that calls us today is going to get an absolutely free prize, courtesy of Beasley Broadcasting and the world-famous Max Pond. Now, Michael, you've put out the treasure chest in Max Pond, and this includes all the different accumulated prizes from Beasley, from Max Pond. And the cool thing is, you're not going to hand me something. I get to go back there and choose it. You get a choice, and of course, uh, people are pretty excited when they go down there, and it, it's absolutely free. And of course, now that you've opened Pandora's box, not just the treasure chest, right. I'm giving away a free loan that anyone that mentions Dave's name, if there you come you go. down and this I have weekend, to pay the interest. We're going, no, you just you don't have to pay nothing, Dave. But if you mention Dave's name, we're going to give a 30-day interest-free loan. Uh, uh, and, you know, so if you have to make that extra bet or if you have to take your girl or your guy out or you have a birthday present to get, Come on down, we'll give you an interest-free loan. Well, with, with spring first starting, I mean, I can think that there's lots of people needing to get interest-free loans right now. And a ton of them I see at the Orleans Arena a lot. Now, if there are Wranglers fans still still listening here because uh, the Wranglers uh, very uh, did a very cool thing and they tweeted out uh, our show earlier, at Wranglers LV is their Twitter handle. Uh, if there are Wranglers fans out there that need to, to stock up on Wranglers merchandise, need to get those jerseys before they sell out, need to donate, towards St. Baldrick's coming up on Sunday. Michael, what better way 
to do some pawning than to take an iPad, an iMac, or something, and then get that cash and donate it to St. Baldrick's. Awesome concept right there. But also, you know, we want to hear some callers. I want to know what, you know, any magic pick you might have Ooh. for March Madness. There, there I mean, I need to come out of the hole here. I, I mean, I've had some bad picks. Uh, my uh, my uh, little board looks like... Oh, your like bracket's a, busted. It's, it looks like a Ouija board. Yeah. And, <laughs> and it's really in bad shape. So, you know... We want to hear some callers. What games do you like? Do you have any picks out there that you, you want Dave and I to follow? Because if you don't pick the right one, we're coming back and you yeah, get you. Yeah, that's right. We're going to talk about it at least for the next couple of weeks. That's just how we're going to do it here. But great, great uh, thought there, Michael. 257-5396. Give us a call and tell us maybe a, a sexy pick that you've got here for one of the later rounds. Maybe you're one of the few people in the country that still has an intact bracket is that possible or even a friend that has one well, yeah. i want to know anyone that has a bracket i mean i would like to see anybody that's got a bracket that actually has harvard dayton and mercer in it in the second round i mean really i think that should be the billion dollars somebody that actually had harvard dayton and mercer all going to the second round and like you mentioned uh eastern kentucky is giving kansas all they can handle and kansas again one of these teams michael that you know when you looked at it from before the season started you thought wow they've got this this freshman who's been touted as the, the biggest star since lebron james coming out you know in basketball and andrew wiggins and they've got uh joel Embed, who is a, a talented young center on that team and and of course they're they're coached up extremely well but you just don't typically think these powers getting tested by small schools and you know what do you think it is michael i mean you've got a son that's it's a high level uh, athlete in high school i mean what do you think it is about a, a, a team like mercer who's all seniors and a team like duke with more talent how can they beat the dukes you know dave you and i talked about it off air i believe it's pretty simple um the big powerhouse teams the kentuckys the uclas the the dukes the north carolinas of the world are being hurt by the one and done you know, these, these athletes are not going to school for the full four years. They're going for their freshman year, maybe their sophomore year. And that's hurting these four-year programs where you can get a smaller school like a Mercer that, you know, these kids are, are staying in school. They're getting their four-year education. Now, I'm nothing, not putting a, something against a kid who goes one and done because, sure. you know, Shabazz Muhammad gets offered X amount of dollars and he's gone. Now, but, you know. Yeah, guess what? He's had, not playing right, either. Right, but we yeah. had the number one pick in the nation come out of UNLV, yep. Anthony Bennett. Horrible. And, uh, you know, this is the first number one pick that might not be back next year. Yeah, uh, yeah great point. I mean, I think they owe him a, a ton of money, but they, I mean, Anthony Bennett has been atrocious uh, in, in his and, rookie and, year. And it's Horrible. a shame because yeah. now the kid, you know, yeah, he might end up with a few bucks, but he isn't end up with no education unless that's he's right. wise enough to go back to school. But I really believe that's the reason why – uh, these small schools have uh, have kind of risen uh, from the, the the you know the depths because in the past when you and I were a kid we we would just pick all the the top picks and they would all pop out of the first round absolutely there was no way I mean there was 40 50 point blowouts in the first round you're not seeing that today no no and you actually you made a great point and, and Sports Illustrated actually did a, a fantastic piece it was one of their long form narratives uh, about the game that saved college basketball it went back to the 1988 season where the Georgetown Hoyas almost got beat by Princeton and they didn't lose, but because the game was so close, it gave the air to this modern Cinderella story that we've been, you know, looking for. But you, you bring up a great point. If you've got a, a Dayton or a Mercer with four-year seniors, guys that are men, 21, 22 years old, going up against all 18 19 year olds there's some difference there and, and and the talent might not be the same but your physical maturity is different your mental maturity is much different so you you really hit on something these small schools might come out and win a national championship you know, soon. You know the uh, the analogy i want to use when you go to the ymca and yes, play basketball right and you go play against four <laughs> old dudes that have been playing together for years that's and years right and years most and of them one, in the nba and one guy has an old uh, you know that old hook shot and he makes it every time they they typically beat you. They typically, and, yes, all the and time. So the, yes. it just goes back to the point you get four guys that have played together, they're seasoned, and then they go against someone who maybe doesn't have that experience going to the big dance. It's scary. Yeah, it, well, it's scary, and I think you're right. I mean, this is scary for a number of, of really large institutions. The, the Dukes, uh, who would have ever thought, first of all, that they would be in the one-and-done category? For, for a long time, Coach Mike Krzyzewski had absolutely renounced any player that wanted to come in 
and do the one and done. They said that's absolutely something that Duke won't do. Well, he realized that they weren't going to be able to compete in the college level if they didn't do that. So well, a I, little change of pace I know there. my girlfriend, who uh, fiance, who yeah. likes the baby blue. She's that's very right. happy about seeing I, the I dark was going to say, she, she's a Chapel she's Hill girl right there. She's happy to see dark blue dye. All right. Well, we're, we're going to be happy to see another traffic update here from Jim. We'll be back here on Pawn Talk Live. You're listening to News Talk 720 KDWN. And at 245 in the Kid on Wonder Better Credit Union Traffic Center, get a new incident on the 95 southbound north of Boulder Highway. Look out for some debris in that one. Also, 15 northbound heading into the Spaghetti Bowl. You're going to tap on the brake somewhere around Sahara where things slow down. 215 southbound, that's at Flamingo. It's actually at the top of the ramp. Uh, the off-ramp there at Flamingo. Las Vegas Boulevard at the 215 and a hit and run, this time Orville at Twain. For the kid on Wonder Better Credit Union Traffic Center, I'm Jim Dallas on News Talk 720 KDWN. When your battery's dead, it's a bummer. But you know that. What you may not know is that your battery may not really be kaput. It may just need a little maintenance or a charge. So get a jump and swing into Ted Weens. If you need a new battery, we'll pop one in. And if you just need a little extra juice, we'll give you some of that. Because Ted Weens does way more than just tires. Our team of slightly obsessive ASE certified mechanics can fix anything. Because yes, we do care. That check engine light on your dash is annoying, and yeah, your car is probably running the same as it was before that thing started blinking. But here's the deal. You can't pass a smog check, and you may damage your car if you don't get rid of that light. So pop into your nearby Ted Weems. We'll quickly, easily tell you what's wrong, fix it affordably, and even do that inspection when you're ready. All under the watchful eye of our slightly obsessive ASE certified mechanics. Because yeah, we do care. Luxury shops in Las Vegas aren't new. What is new, however, is luxury meeting value. At the world-famous Max Pond, we specialize in marrying the two. With some of the finest selections of watches, designer handbags, sunglasses, and more, the luxury never stops. Every day, new items are added in-store and online. From Gucci and Chanel to Hermes and Louis Vuitton, Max Pond delivers all the top luxury brands at a fraction of the price. Visit us online at maxpondlv.com or browse our showroom in Las Vegas. The world-famous Max Pond, where luxury meets value. Hey, this is Rabbi Yitzwein of Young Israel Aish of Las Vegas. Please join me on The Rabbi Show every Sunday morning as we look at the implications of issues in the news and those we face in our daily lives. The Rabbi Show, Sunday mornings at 9 on News Talk 720 KDWN. For all your short sale, loan mods, and civil litigation questions, listen live every Monday from 9 to 10 a.m. on AM 720 KDWN. Jamie Cogburn will take all your calls on these and other law topics. That's every Monday morning from 9 to 10. Now back to Pawn Talk Live with your hosts, Michael Mack and Dave Carney. And welcome back to Pawn Talk Live here on News Talk 720 KDWN. Dave Carney joined by the owner of the world famous Max Pond, Michael Mack. And Webmaster extraordinaire Cheryl Bernard joining us here on Pawn Talk Live. And again, guys, we've only got about 15 minutes left in the program. If you want to get out your cell phones, make a hands free phone call to us here on Pawn Talk Live. The number to reach us in studio 257 5396. That's 257 5396. Get online with fourth generation pawnbroker Michael Mack and find out what your valuables are worth. Now, again, if you're just tuning in for the first time today, you don't know perhaps that every single one of our callers here on Pawn Talk Live is a winner and will get an absolutely free gift courtesy of Beasley Broadcasting and the world-famous Max Pond. All you have to do is go down to Max Pond, open up the treasure chest, and pick your gift. It's really simple, tons of fun, and easy to do. Give us a call, 257-5396-257-KDWN. Right now what I'd like to do is jump in to a little talk about jewelry. A kiss on the hand may be quite continental, but diamonds are good. Best friend. We know who's best friends with the diamonds, but what about the rest of the jewels? Here's your answer in this week's Jewelry Report. All right, Michael. Well, here we are. The Jewelry Report brought to us, of course, by Max Pawn on the corner of Sahara and Jones. Michael, we do this often. We like to talk about the prices of precious metals here on the show and also what jewelry is doing in general. First of all, though, I'd like to get uh, your update this week on what gold has been doing. Last week uh, on the gold report that we talked about, really making a fast rise, over $100 an ounce in the week. What are we looking like this week? You no, know, this week I think what you saw and you've seen is that there's been some 
I, what we think in the world market is some stabilization in Ukraine, which I think is a farce. I think there's more craziness going on there Absolutely. than ever. But the world marketplace has seen it as stabilization. Um, and so what, with that being said, gold has gone down. Uh, wow. We, we were on a big rise. We were up almost $85 for the week last week. Gold closed at thirteen thirty four seventy. Wow, down almost fifty dollars yeah. an ounce. Silver is at twenty dollars and twenty seven cents, uh, which is pretty close. You know, a dollar fluctuation here and there. And platinum's at fourteen thirty one and pretty stable. But it's amazing, Dave. You you've been watching it m- week after week. Uh, you know, the market's fickle, and uh, when there's uneasiness in the world marketplace. Now, one of the uneasiness feelings that has also driven the price of gold. Is the plane crash? Yes. You know what are we da- into day fourteen with no answers? Yeah, 15? that's that's it. About I think we're at fifteen right now. If we count when it and, happened and, originally, and, yeah. And my heart goes out again to those those that have uh, been affected, those that have lost lives, the, the 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 crew, the stewardesses, the passengers, and any family members that you know have uh, been affected by this thing. Yeah, two hundred and forty nine families. What this has done is it's also created an easiness in a world marketplace because. It's introducing terrorism at a higher level now. We don't know the unknown, and the unknown is re- really making us scared. And I think that's what drives people to go buy diamonds or buy gold, and gold being the biggest precious metal commodity, uh, driving prices up. Now, real quick, Michael, what about jewelry coming up? We know that June is, of course, National Brides Month, and, and, and brides around the country are getting prepared to have their very special day. Does jewelry follow suit with gasoline and, and other uh, you know tangible goods in the summertime? Do we see an incredible rise in price of jewelry during this time of year? You know, Dave, it's pretty much steady. Um, of course, gold is fluctuated and all the precious metals. But uh, I think the, uh, the effect is uh, on uh, what we're seeing is this is really the only item. Bridal rings is really the only jewelry item that's a real seller in today's marketplace. People aren't buying rings for the third fe- finger, or fourth finger, or second finger. Bracelets and pendants are really not as big as ever. You know, you, we sell some stud earrings here and there, but the biggest sale is for bridal rings. And Max Pond, we happen to have a nice selection of solitaires. Uh, we also have access to diamonds all over the world. So if there's a diamond you don't see, we can get certified diamonds uh, within days at a fraction of what you'd pay retail. People are savvy, Dave. People are online. They're at BlueNile.com, and they're checking out the websites. And people aren't dropping dead and going into these retail stores and paying three times what they should pay. People know what they're spending. So we get savvy customers that come down and see us, and we're happy to work with them. Yeah, what an ad campaign that was. All you need to do is spend 62 months of your salary to show her you love her. And I thought, (laughs) boy, there is nobody I love that much on the face of this earth that much, I can guarantee you. Now, uh, we do have a caller on the line. And again, I wanted to give it out the phone number one more time today, 257 5396 257 5396. We'll take one more call after Bill, who is calling us today, Michael, uh, because it looks like Bill has got some Pepsi Cola bottles. Now, Bill, I'm really curious how old are these Pepsi Cola bottles? I have one bottle. I have one bottle. It has to be at least 50 years old. Wow. Or like 70 or 80 years old. Uh, I, I'm, somebody, I'm sure, can document it. Uh, on this bottle, it has Cyrillic type of, uh, of reading type, like, you know, like Greek or Russian type. You, hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I kind of know what you're saying. The, the letters that look like what we were talking about in Crimea, right? right? So a little bit off, okay. Yeah, and there's no English writing on the bottle. Wow. The reason I think it's a Pepsi-Cola bottle is because the logo is the Pepsi-like type logo and colors. If need be, I could uh, send you a picture on my smartphone. Well, I'd love it. You could send it over to 702. Wait a minute. Let me get my pen. No problem. Hey, go ahead. 702. Go ahead. 274-6225. Wait a minute. 274. Go ahead. 274-6225. I'll, I'll send Now, let me ask you, on. is there any nuclear uh, soda inside that uh <laughs> Inside that Ruski bottle? It probably is nuclear. I, I, my belief is this bottle is 70 years old. Well, well Bill, uh, Bill, how long have you had the bottle in your possession for? Let's start there. About 40 years. Okay, so you've already had it for 40 years by yourself, and, and this was obviously of antiquity when you, when you got it. How did you acquire it? My wife got it, actually, when I married her, my second wife. She had received it from a merchant seaman who she had dated. 
Interesting. Well, we'd love wow, to take a look fantastic. at it. Hey, Bill, have you ever been down to Max Pond? Uh, I've passed it the other day, actually. Well, stop down. You're a prize winner, so we're happy to share that with you. And I'd love to meet you and love to see your Pepsi Cola bottle. And if you have any other possessions you'd like us to appraise, we'd be more than happy to work with you. Yeah, yeah. that's that's awesome stuff, Bill. I love hearing about this kind of historical stuff uh, that you just, you know, it's like a time capsule from 70 years ago. It's amazing. I think this is, actually. Uh, you guys are downtown, right? We're on the corner of Sahara and Jones, right, northeast right. corner. Sahara and Jones. Yep, the old madman's army surplus store. All right, well, I got to go down and pick up my tips from the casino uh, Monday. Can I stop into your uh, store? I'd love to see you and make sure you ask for me. This is Michael. Michael at Sahara and Jones. Wow. That's it. Max Fun. You know what, Bill? I really love uh, I love hearing from folks, especially folks that are, are Las Vegans through and through and somebody that's still working uh, in the industry. Great to hear your voice. I hope you're not getting taxed on your tips, okay? Because I'm going to be with you against any form of taxation on tip. And the guy that runs that casino, who he knows who he is. <laughs> All right. Well, Bill, thanks so much for calling. Uh, stop on by uh, 6040 West Sahara, the northeast corner of Sahara and Jones. Uh, pick up your free prize. And, of course, uh, shoot Michael over that picture of your per- proposed Pepsi bottle. We don't really know what this is because if it's 40 years in his possession, tarnished it may be, uh, it might not look like a Pepsi bottle. And, Michael, if it's from Russia, wouldn't that just be interesting to see one of the original Pepsi bottles that was from Russia? I mean, that would have been just like as soon as Lenin passed away. They must have imported a bunch of Pepsi over there. Or maybe Lenin had his private stash. Well, maybe. <laughs> that, he, would, he would have been a, a, a quick one. He passed away in about 1917, so he would have been first up for that Pepsi bottle. But you're right. You, you never know. It could have been, uh, could have been a, a select reserve. Uh, great call there uh, on the Max Prize hotline. Again, 257-5396 is the number. We've got about four minutes left uh, in the program here Uh 257-5396, the number to reach us in studio. But, uh, yeah, really great stuff. And and I got to say, Michael, this is what we really like to hear from the folks in the Valley. We had Dan call us earlier, earlier with a Peter Max uh, a painting, which will sell for a great deal of money. And then you've got a guy like Bill Call, who's got something in his possession he's had for nearly a half a century, thinks it's older than that. And who knows? This could be something that a collector, I mean, Pepsi collectors are out there, right? Like Coca-Cola collectors. It could be one of those things. One of the items that we've heard that are quite collectible today are old spurs. Really? Yeah. So anyone out there that has... Like David Robinson? <laughs> yeah, maybe a little older spurs. Oh, okay. Yeah. You mean spurs for for Spurs cowboys for your cowboy okay, there so, you go. you know, there's a lot of different ornate spurs, yes. uh, plain silver spurs, but... Uh, uh, anyone that has old spurs out there, bring them down and let us give us uh, give it a whirl, and we'll uh, evaluate them for you. But we've seen spurs recently going in big auctions as much as a thousand dollars. Wow. Well, you know that doesn't surprise me either. I mean, you think about where we're at here, I, the home of the NFLers, the PBRs. Uh, thankfully, we're still home of those, uh, and the cowboy belts. Uh, the the spurs, I guess, would go right along with that, right? Some of the most ornate gold, silver, platinum type uh, type items. Now, can you imagine having to stick something that precious looking into the side of an animal just to get it to go faster? Those poor animals. Yeah, those poor animals. Well, the, you know, good, tough cowboys, though. All right, guys, it's been an awesome Pond Talk Live and Live Las Vegas. For all of our guests, for Nate Burkus, for Ashton Allen, for Cheryl Bernard, for Michael Mack, and I'll be sure I'm Dave Carney. We will see you back here next Friday from 1 to 3 on KDON 720. Is your auto loan rate higher than 1.99%? If so, consider refinancing with One Nevada, and we'll throw in no payments for 90 days if you qualify. And if you're buying a new car or truck, we can help with that, too. Apply at OneNevada.org or call us at 457-1000. One Nevada is open to all Clark County and Pahrump residents. Federally insured by the NCUA Equal Opportunity Lender. This is Dave Krieger of Haynes & Krieger Law. Join me every Thursday morning from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., along with Dustin DeHart of Nova Home Loans as we discuss bankruptcy, foreclosure, and student loan questions. Every Thursday morning on 720 KDWN. Hi, this is Michael Mack, owner of world-famous Max Pond in Las Vegas. You ever wondered what those valuables are worth? Had a pond question but didn't know who to ask? I have the solution for you. Join me and Dave Carney every Friday from 2 to 3 for Pond Talk Live. Here on News Radio 720 KDWN. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. News Talk 720 KDWN, where locals come to talk. 
My name is Justin Spencer, and I'm the founder of Legacy Act. Join us March 22nd in the deserts here in Las Vegas as we create the world's largest anti-bullying sign. For more information, go to LegacyX.com. News Talk 720 KDWN, your station for better news and compelling talk.